get uh, a pandemic and how did the Indian infrastructure survive? Because in America, despite my warning given five years ago at a TEDx event, we did not develop. So our health infrastructure crippled. Well, making vaccines available to the vast majority was a major challenge. But uh, Indian scientists, along with global coordination, developed effective vaccines that too within a short period of time. Well, the pandemic laid a lot of pressure on the health system of all nations worldwide. India itself witnessed the inadequate supply of oxygen cylinders, but our maximum strength was our frontline workers, our corona warriors. Well, your work in this field has also impacted millions of lives. Absolutely. The work that Melinda and I have done together with our partners is remarkably good. And I'm glad that you pointed that out because there are certain diseases that are lesser known to the Western and European countries like river blindness. Last year, we achieved a victory over river blindness, a disease that is so deadly that can turn you blind and even kill you just with one fly bite. We believe that we can do this for the whole continent. And That's it's incredible. a measure to make people healthy it is to unlock the entire economic potential uh, that the continents like South Africa have to give us. And one more thing I'd like to point out, what do you think as a writer, your work has inspired and motivated thousands and millions of people to work towards the global community service? I believe in portraying situations as they are. I do not beat around the bush. I do not complicate simple things which makes it easy for the masses to connect with me and my work. Moreover, I believe in representing things as they are because my work is for the common man. And if the common man gets the message, then they can help in making the vision come true. It has a lot to do with upbringing. And as a writer, I believe in establishing connect with my readers. Absolutely. I'll make a very big prediction here. India will be ruling the 21st century. <laughs> Do not forget about your contribution. In the recent years, we have invested heavily, not just in health sector, but also in the IT, educational, aerospace, and skill development. And we have seen tremendous growth, and we wish to continue. And in my recent book, I have pointed out that how India can help the world. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed the program. Thank you. Time taken by them is four minutes. I now request judges to kindly give their feedback. So, Aapka, Baud Achata, I guess your first pair, Jinnone Yewala, you know, personalities choose Kara. Aapki, Jia, Aapki performance at Chiti, Boik dialect Arata Sudha Murti Wala, that Hindi originated Wali English, Banafti Wali Nia. So, book. अच्छा था काफी मुझे बस वो एक एक चीज लगी जैसे आपने शो की स्टार्ट करी दैट वेलकम टू बीबीसी वाला सो बिल गेट्स इतना मेरा वो वो खरीद ही ले वो शो पे होस्ट ही बनेगा तो वो वाली चीज आप नॉर्मल एज अ गेस्ट आओ एंड अपनी कन्वर्सेशन शुरू करो देयर इज नो पॉइंट ऑफ होस्टिंग या वेलकम टू हमें वेलकम करने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है हम बैठे हैं जो होस्ट है उसने हमें वेलकम कर दिया अपना बाकी आई रियली लाइक आपने बीबीसी का पीछे पोस्टर लगाया बुक रखी ओनली थिंग जो वो है कि अगर वो बुक रखी बुक पे आपने बताया कि मैंने बुक भी लिखी है तो तो बुक पे डिस्कशन करो एंड में बस वो पॉइंट मे भी नहीं होना बाकी ओवरऑल बहुत अच्छा था जस्ट वन थिंग बिल गेट्स इतना वो एनर्जेटिक नहीं कि बहुत उसके नॉर्मल सटल थोड़े बहुत हैंड मूवमेंट्स बहुत अच्छे उसके आपने अच्छा करा हैंड मूवमेंट्स थे उसके बट वो इतने ज्यादा नहीं करता बट ओवरऑल आपका बहुत अच्छा था आपकी आउटफिट्स एंड एवरीथिंग वाज वेरी नाइस बैकड्रॉप्स आपने मेहनत वेहनत करी पोस्टर लगाया बुक्स भी यूज करी प्रॉप्स एंड एवरीथिंग अमेजिंग है Uh, first of all, I would like to appreciate the outfit of Sudha Murthy. It was to the point. Matlab, if I wouldn't have known who she is, I would have guessed it from her outfit and appearance. It was really good. And like Ajithar said, you would have discussed about the books. That would have made it better. Otherwise, it was very nice. It was an engaging performance. So really liked it. Thank you, judges. And I invite Team L, Pasni Eka and Navda to give their performance.
Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I am Navya Jain, aka Mukesh Ambani, along with my partner, Pavnika Sharma, aka Ratan Tata of Team L, are here to discuss of a brighter future future of our country, India. Well, it has almost been seventy five years of our country's independence, and we are almost stepping in seventy sixth year. But I believe that we are still lagging behind in concrete terms. Yes, Mr. Ambani, you are absolutely correct. I mean, India being a very renowned nation for its culture and almost bagging the seventh place in terms of the largest GDPs, we are yet to become atmanikas. Absolutely, even our honourable Prime Minister has also set a vision for an atmanikar Bharat. However, we are yet to follow in line as we are still a leading importer. Yes. Uh, with that being said, looking and comparing my sales that we generated last year of Tata Motors, that stood at around 2.5 lakh units, as compared to my counterpart making 5 lakh units per year, even not being manufactured in India, proof that the need to be self-reliant is really befitting. Certainly, and you know, it has been almost 15 years that we have put in place our clothing brand, but people are still sticking to the brands which are not been manufactured in India. Hence, our clothing brand is still lagging behind in the list of top 20. It is surely reiterating your point. You know, I just want to say that I just saw your swanky Bentley parked outside the premises. Oh. In which, in my opinion, costs around, you know, like 400, 4 crores that, in my opinion, could almost buy like 400 Tata Nanos. Um, well, um, yeah, indeed. Mr. Tata, as the situation being is off the grid, I think we should collaborate. I mean, as we both have enough of resources, we can together take a step forward for an Atma Nirmal Bharat. Like, what do you think? You mean like as in a particular partnership or what? I am not able to understand it really. Um, well, I read it somewhere that Tata imports lubricant oil from countries like Bangladesh and Nepal. And you might not know yes. that my company, Via Railstar, offers a wide portfolio of 40 high products that we supply across 13 segments, whether it is automotive or lubricant oil. Oh, even lubricant oil? Well, actually, yes. somehow, I never I never really got to know about this, but this is a really important channel, as through this, we can really eliminate the imports, which is the need of the hour. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, around 2,500 crores tons of lubricant oil was imported by India the preceding year, which, in my point of view, is a pressing concern. Yes, also, just like you mentioned earlier, with all the toil and sweat that we have put into, we have still not been able to become eminent companies, right? So I guess now, now is the time that we Absolutely. should finally put up a merger for our clothing brand and finally get them the recognition that they actually do deserve. Yes, of course, why not? Um, and I also remember that you once said that you believe in taking, you don't believe in taking right decisions. You take decisions and then make them right. Well, I have to admit that you've got a pretty amazing memory, Mr. Ramani. Yes, of course. Why not? How can I forget? And I really hope that our this decision will land up well. Yeah, I hope so too. But anyways, it was a pleasure doing business with you. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you. Thank you. Time taken by them is three minutes and 50 seconds. Judges can give their feedback now. So, your uh, performance was good. Navya, you played with Reliance uh, Ambani. Ko play kara. Aapka mujhe outfit was good. Because usually in any, every, like, Seminar conference, so he black suit, white shirt, pants without you mostly without a tie. So, what chata, kapia chalaga, uh, Jabke partner, the unki outfit in Bolunga. So, like Menekabi Ratan Tata ko as such high neck pe tie lagata in Dika. So, bo thoda maybe shirt pe penate to achaota. Baki said, also, there's one thing, uh, Tata Reliance a conglomerate sam, both body companies are like their owning sectors, like Reliance. We put at Malab Achesari, Geo View, Telecom, mein hai, Tata Steel, we sub some halra. There is no point for Tata or Reliance to discuss sales. Discuss Inki, malab, 
बिकॉज बहुत बड़ी कॉन्ग्लोमेट है बस एक सिंपल कंपनियां स्टार्टअप नहीं है सो दैट्स वाई बस मुझे वो लगा आपकी कॉन्वर्सेशन पे बाकी तो बहुत अच्छा था यार सही में मुझे बहुत मजा आया या सो ओवरऑल इट वाज रियली गुड बट आई जस्ट थॉट कि जो टाटा बनी थी उसका थोड़ा कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल वाज लो इट वुड हैव बीन बेटर एंड आल्सो द पॉइंट अबाउट कोलैबोरेटिंग आई थिंक इट वाज नॉट वेरी वायबल एंड इट कुड हैव बीन लाइक पॉन्डर्ड अपॉन ऑन अ लॉट अ मोर सो दैट्स माय फीडबैक अदरवाइज इट वाज गुड थैंक यू जजेस आई नाउ वेलकम टीम एम तान्या एंड साक्षम on the virtual stage good afternoon everyone we are team m and i am tanya i'll be playing the role of robert kiyosaki he is my teammate saksham bansal and he'll be playing the role of shakti kanta das the iams are organizing an online program in which they have invited several renowned personalities to talk about finance financial independence and channelization this hosted a wonderful conversation between robert kiyosaki and shakti kanta das it is as follows it has been 25 years of a publishing rich dad poor dad which has been a great influencer for students studying finance aspiring businessmen and many more looking for channelizing of their funds it's good to hear that from you sir who himself is a respectable and dignified name in the field of finance a former ias and the current governor of rbi too as i have heard your path to success has not been easy too surely it has not been easy sir you know if you don't leave it you will surely get it mine was not easy after so many jobs bankruptcy of some companies but i have found my way what a way that is that you worked on and now you are motivating others to work on too through your financial educating speeches lectures books etc so the era of entrepreneurship has begun everywhere and in india too i always guide young students to start thinking of it at early ages as investing early means early cash flows and that too for a larger duration of time yes sir Certainly, Indian kids are getting more and more aware of business skills sooner. They are started investing their time, money, and skills in various businesses. Programs like Make in India are a great source of inspiration, and are motivating children to come up with their thoughts and start channelizing them into reality. But sir, just launching some program won't help all kids, as finance is the utmost ingredient in the recipe of business. surely it is that's why our government has started helping students through the funds also established entrepreneurs are investing their time and money with young entrepreneurs under various innovative programs but how can i get your help sir i can surely help them with my speeches and making my books available but sir if if these facilities have been provided by your government then why the graph of students from india going and working abroad is getting higher and higher sir personal choices can be affected but can't be controlled we have developed infrastructure to shape our students dream into reality theoretical and practical knowledge from the school level itself various private and government institutions for advanced level studies practical and skill based training internship from the basic level are few things provided to our students which make them capable of working not only in india but also in getting jobs abroad also indian education system not only trains indian students but attracts and invites foreigners too <laughs> you got me on the right track so india and its youth has a long and successful way to go thank, thank you Time taken by the miss three minutes and twenty seven seconds. Judges can give their feedback. Feedback. Uh, so, your performance was very good. It was really nice. Uh, just one thing, I will say that like you, 
शक्तिकांत दास जो है इज द गवर्नर ऑफ आर बी आई सो अगर आप उनके इंटरव्यूज में कभी देखोगे इज वेरी बहुत सटल बहुत नॉर्मली बात करते हैं उनमें इतनी है ही नहीं एनर्जी कि वो इतना चिल्ला चिल्ला के करें तो नॉर्मल आप करो कोई दिक्कत की बात नहीं है इट्स ओके वो बहुत अच्छा होता ऑल्सो इफ यू ऑलवेज सी अगर उनका वो क्या आउटफिट पहनते हैं ही ऑलवेज वेयर वेरी मतलब उनके कलर्स काफी वाइब्रेंट होते हैं वो ऐसे ग्रे ब्लैक ब्राउन नहीं या तो ब्लू पिंक टाई प्रिंटेड टाई ये सब पहनते हैं ऑल्सो उनके बैठने का जो तरीका भी होता है अगर आप वो भी नोटिस करेंगे वो कभी ऐसे मतलब पैर खोल के या इतना यू नहीं इज ऑलवेज लाइक दिस एक पैर के ऊपर दूसरा पैर दोनों हाथ घुटने पे देन ही टॉक्स इन अ नॉर्मल मैनर की ऐसे करके बिकॉज इज द गवर्नर ऑफ आबिया सो वो एक चीज अगर वो पर्सनैलिटी में आ जाती तो बहुत अमेजिंग बाकी कॉन्फिडेंस बहुत ऊपर था आपका इट वॉज वेरी ग्रेट ऑल्सो आपके पार्टनर का उनका भी बहुत अच्छा था आपका टॉपिक पॉइंट पे बहुत अच्छा था वो टॉपिक बहुत अच्छा था कि क्यों इंडियन स्टूडेंट छोड़ रहे हैं अब्रॉड जा रहे हैं पढ़ाई करने बहुत अच्छे टॉपिक्स आपने डिस्कशन करा बहुत मजा आया Yeah, so the uh, I think the character representation could have been better, like your thought said. Otherwise, it was good. It was an engaging conversation, and it was really interesting to hear about the views of both the personalities. Thank you, judges. Now I invite Team I, Shreya and Shri Nirha, to take the stage. बेस्ट फूड डिलीवरी एप इन इंडिया इट हेज बीन ब्राइटली बॉट आउट बाई मिस्टर नेल्सन मंजेला A winner is a dreamer who never gives up. Come on, get over yourselves. As a wise woman once said, the change from self-centeredness to human-centeredness is the key to peaceful existence. Well, well, look who wants a war. As I rightly heard, there's new gossip in town. I heard that Swiggy charges hundred rupee cancellation fee if the order is not cancelled within sixty seconds. and you know what we charge nothing not even a single penny we even charge more delivery fees too isn't that basically robbing the customers so are you going to pay for the petrol then and honestly i'm pretty sure that's probably one of the reasons zomato has recently suffered from a loss of 1000 crores i mean i was shocked i don't even know how you operated on such cost margins stop it please no no That's not all. If you remember, uh, of course you do. There was a video widely circulated on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter showing how a Zomato delivery executive very sneakily ate from the packets he had to deliver and then repackaged it. Now tell me, how would you justify this? The nation wants to know. Millions of people had lost trust in our deliveries after this. Tell me, how can this be justified? all the fact which was truly depressing is that because of this being severely underpaid they can't even afford a proper square meal the problem isn't about you it's about food poverty which ought to be resolved actually evident food poverty is increasing in india day by day according to a survey nearly 10% of the older individuals take small portions or skip their meals altogether 7% don't eat even when they're hungry and 6% have to go on a full day without eating and this is seriously heart rendering for a developing indian economy well i've heard you have a wider connection base and not to boast or anything but i've made a profit of 2400 crores recently you have wider connections i have a greater profit margin together we can invest in the mission to make india free of food poverty together let's ensure the food security of our country we can also create a wider setup to ensure that food is being transported to remote areas as well hmm. we can definitely do that and also to eliminate third party competition we can lower the service fee such that even operational costs cannot be covered oh nice this will keep the potential competitors and even existing ones at bay 
exactly and then we can raise the price again once the competition is out of picture also have you heard that recently the delhi government has made it compulsory that all our delivery vehicles must be switched to electric vehicles we can invest together and get charging points built all over the metropolitan city this will benefit not only the both of us but even the environment in the long run we cannot change our past but we can change our present and future quote we heal not in isolation but in togetherness unquote anonymous thank you thank you second by the ms for 3 minutes and 43 seconds i now request judges to kindly give their feedback सो so, आपकी परफॉर्मेंस बहुत अच्छी थी एनर्जी लेवल दोनों का बहुत अच्छा था uh, थोड़ा डिफरेंट कॉन्वर्जेशन आपने करा दैट स्विगी जोमेटो कोलैबोरेट करें एंड थोड़े जो रूरल एरियाज है वहाँ पे और डिलीवरी विलीवरी भी चालू करें ठीक है अच्छी चीज़ है अच्छा हो रहा सो so, ओवरऑल काफ़ी अच्छी परफॉर्मेंस थी मुझे अच्छा लगा इंगेजिंग लगा काफ़ी अच्छा थैंक्स Yeah, your performance was really good. I enjoyed the topics you discussed about, and they were also recent topics. Also, uh, just one more point: you could have discussed the uh, New Year orders that both of these apps received. Like they crossed two million orders, so that could have been discussed. Otherwise, it was good. Thank you, judges. Now I would like to call the last team for the day: Team N, Divik, and Anubhav to take the stage. So can we start? Yes. Good afternoon to you, sir. Welcome to Coffee with Karan. Today we have a special episode with the almost General Secretary of United Nations, Mr. Shashi Tharoor. Mr. Karan, Mr. Karan, if I may interject, uh, I think the idea of a biopic that you are planning to do on such a venerable personality such as myself uh, needs to be broadcasted to the wider audiences in a way in which they resonate with it. Uh, so, for this to be a crowd puller, it is of paramount importance that a director with a revolting public image such as yours uh, hit it out of the park uh, with a suitable cast. Cut, 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 cut. Sir, 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 Shashi Ji, I request you to please tone down the speed and the intensity with which you speak. Because as I, because my audience is used to hearing people like Manoj Bajpayee and all, so they don't understand your speech. So, sir, please, Shashi Ji, please, sir, please. Okay, Mr. Karan. Okay, so if I start again, uh, three, two, one. I mean, Shashi Ji, Shashi Ji, makeup, da da, makeup, makeup, Shashi Ji, ka bhi makeup. So. Good good afternoon to you, sir. Welcome to Coffee with Karan. Today we have a special episode with the almost general secretary of the United Nations, Mr. Shashi Tharoor. Thank thank you, Karan. Uh, by the way, I just like to point out this whole idea of you shooting this episode in London. Uh, just reminds me of the fact that how much the Indians still need to reconstruct after centuries of being suppressed by the colonial rule. And quite frankly, it's just tyrannical of you to say the least. Oh no. Anyway. we begin the show by revealing such a important news on first time on national television dharma production has decided to collab with yet exceptional yet controversial shashi ji and who will be played by none other than yet controversial and exceptional sharukh khan son oh wait a minute that aryan fellow we never had a discussion on who will star in the movie and frankly casting a debutant for such a colossal role is preposterous to say the least No, 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 sir. We are not pre posters. We have already printed posters, and the public seems to like it. Mr. Karan, I meant pre posters. But okay, uh, posters already. I have to admit, Karan, uh, this this is this comes as a surprise to me. I'm I'm flabbergasted that you didn't even run this by me once. Cut, 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 cut. Sir, we can we we. We keep we try to keep the show about burning issues, not gas, and also let's try to keep focus on that. Also, ask Mahesh for coffee, man. So, good afternoon to you, sir. Welcome to Coffee with Karan. Today we have a special episode with the almost general secretary of the United Nations, Mr. Shashi Tharoor. Mr. Karan, do you for one second think I'm going to be starting again? I will not be starting all over again. 
I might be a Saint Stephen's graduate, but you forget that I'm 65 years old. I can't seem to get the, uh, the hang of this house party application that you're using. Plus the restarts again and again and again, make me question your credibility as a director and a producer. So no, Mr. Cullen, I will not start ab initio. No, no, sir, this is not the Abhini show. This is Coffee with Karan. Everyone in India loves it. I said ab initio, Mr. Karan. That means from the beginning. Oh my God. Do not air this show. Render this appearance obsolete and just parcel the gift hamper because uh, I obviously win the rapid fire round because there's no better rapid linguist in India. Um, anyway, render this appearance obsolete. And yet we conclude in another successful episode of Coffee with Karan. Cut, cut, cut. Also upload this parts and reels and short clips so we will get more masala. Thank you. Thank you. Taken by members three minutes and forty six seconds. I now request judges to kindly give their feedback. अच्छा था यार आपका different था काफी समाला सबसे different आपका था एक different completely different type uh, topic you have been discussion kara and a uh, <clears throat> sort of enactment kari aapne not a discussion basically so that was very different that was very nice aapka diction bahut acha tha sashi shashi dharu ka and i was actually looking for that ki kuch aise word ho jo samajh mein na aaye to to baat bane to wo tha aapke mein bahut acha tha baki ha the overall setup the act kafi mujhe sahi laga to yeah bahut acha tha yaar badhiya Yeah, I really loved your presentation and your diction and creativity. Everything was very different and unique. Just one thing, I would have liked if you would have discussed a few substantial topics. I know that the act you created consisted of this, but if you would have discussed a few substantial topics, that would have made it even more better. Otherwise, it was amazing. Thank you, judges. The today's event comes to a close with this. We'll resemble tomorrow. for the closing ceremony and the announcement of the results thank you to all of the judges participants youtube viewers teachers and parents for joining with us thank you all